What is up everybody? So this is our eight question series on word problems. These are eight questions you absolutely must know for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Let's get into it. So when you see a data analysis question, right? You've got a word problem and they've given you a chart. Sometimes it can seem a little overwhelming. The key thing with all these types of questions is to just kind of slow down, work with the information little by little. So here we have Gianna shops at a farmer's market on Saturday when there's a sale on fruit and vegetables. The chart shows the original cost for certain fruits and vegetables. So we know the chart is showing the original cost. The market offers a 25% discount on fruit and a 40% discount on vegetables. A tax of 4.25% is applied to the total purchase after all discounts. So you do the discounts first, then you apply the tax. What is the total amount Gianna paid if she bought two of each fruit and three of each vegetable, including tax? Now, the way you can waste so much time with this problem is to do one piece of fruit, one vegetable at a time, do the discounts, then add the tax for each one, and then add it all together. If you do that, it's gonna take forever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with our vegetables, we're gonna apply our discount, we're gonna work with our fruit, apply our discount, and then we'll do the tax at the end. Let's start dealing with two of each fruit, and then we'll deal with three of each vegetable. So two of each fruit, here's what we have. We know the cost of fruit, we have 50 cents, 79 cents, and 85 cents. We know we're getting two of each of those. So we can do two times 50 cents is $1. Two times 79 cents is $1.58. Two times 85 cents is $1.70. Now let's add all those together to get our total cost for our fruit. We add those together, $1 plus 158 plus 170, it's 428. Now, let's apply the discount. What was the discount? Looking back, the discount was 25%, right? So if there's a 25% discount, here's how you can save some time. If you're taking 25% off of something, how much are you keeping? What's the total? The total is always 100%. All right, so we've got our total, 428. Now, here's the deal. It's telling us that there's a discount of 25%. Now, here's the thing. If you're taking 25% off of something, your total, your total price, your total amount is always 100%. If you're taking 25% off of it, 100 minus 25 is 75%. This is how you can save some time. So we're only paying 75% of the price. We're not paying 100% of the price. So we can do 75% of 428. 75% is just 0.75. Of means multiply times 428 is 321. So that's the cost of the fruit with the discount. Now what we're gonna do is work with the vegetables. And what does it say about the vegetables? Three of each vegetable. So let's work with three of each vegetable. Three times 55 cents would be 165. Three times 75 cents would be 225. Three times 89 cents would be 267. And three times $1.29 would be 387. Now what are we gonna do? We'll add those all together and we get $10.44 for these, how much is the discount? We have a 40% discount. So same thing, remember, are you paying 100% of the price? No, 40% is being taken away, so you're only paying 60% of the price. So you do 60% of 1044, that's just 0 0.60 times 1044, which gives you 6.264. Now, here's a very important thing. At this point, we're going beyond what we would talk about in actual money, right, 6.264 but you always round at the very end, okay? So we have 321 plus 6.264 is 9.474. We're almost done, we just need to apply the tax. Now, what was the tax? It tells us the tax is 4.25%. So what do we have? We know that it's 9.474 is what we were originally paying, but now we need to add another 4.25% to that 9.474, so how do we do that? Well, 4.25% just becomes, move the decimal two places to the left, 0 0.0425 times 9.474. Why are we doing that? Because we have to do 4.25% of 9.474. So we do 0 0.0425 times 9.474. And what are we doing? We're adding that to our 9.474. So what do we get? Next step is 9.474 plus the result of that 0 0.0425 times 9.474, which gives us 0 0.403. Again, we're dealing with decimals that go beyond what we would with real money, but we're gonna round at the end. When we do 9.474 plus 0 0.403, what do we get? 
we get 9.877, which rounds up to 9.88, which is given to us in answer choice C. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> Here we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.